A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Nerf Secrets Revealed. So what I've got here is that I've got a second subject to talk about. Because the first one did relate to how bad animal cruelty would have become, especially with the likes of how a cat merely got killed because of a Nerf Blaster being shot at multiple times. Just by Nerf darts alone. There's lots of other things out there we gotta look for though. Because right now, what I'm gonna talk about is another upcoming Rivals Blaster called the Knockout. And I'm mainly bringing this up here in this episode because of how, I mean, just the name alone, it's kind of a mind blow. Because first of all, that Rivals Blaster isn't even named after a particular Greek or Roman god of Roman or Greek mythology. And second of all, the name itself, Knockout, had already been used to a Rebel Blaster, and had been given to a Rebel Blaster, which does resemble that of the shell of the Jolt, in a way, but it does have some details put into it that distinguish the Knockout from the Rebel lineup, that is, differently as opposed to the End Strike Jolt, or the Elite Null, or other variants of a Jolt-like Blaster. So, Another thing out there is that, I mean, the knockout pretty much just gives the Kronos a runs for a money. Simply because of how smaller it is. It is much smaller. So, I mean, that's pretty much just one other thing I had to mention real quick. But other than that, I'd still think that the knockout still is a pretty good blaster out there. It would definitely be pretty good for those who would want to spend less money on nerf blasters, and more importantly for those people who like micro-sized micro blasters that still deliver a pretty decent amount of power to it. Of course, a small package with a big punch. It isn't always super reliable out there in terms of how capacity and range would depend on how a certain blaster performs because of its size and its capabilities, but Aside from all of this, it's still quite a big thing out there that we should take into consideration. The fact that now, the Knockout, as it's known as in the Rivals lineup, I mean, I would literally just give it a different name, one that would at least coincide with the, well, the rest of the other Blasters, because each of the other Rivals Blasters that we've gotten over the last five years or so, they've been all given names that resemble Greek, Roman gods from mythology, with blasters like the Zeus, Helios, Heracles, Apollo, Atlas, blasters like those pretty much, they're all given names from Roman or Greek mythology, gods of any sorts. But of course, the knockout, it is not a name from mythology in any case, so I mean, it just, well, leads to some questions, including the fact that, well, Rivals just seems to be taking a different step in the fact that they're not sticking around to Greek or Roman mythology based god names or anything else like that. And the fact that, well, the knockout had pretty much just been named for a rebel blaster from the Rebel line. Of course, that's just something out there that does have a lot of questions sometimes with, but now. I suppose it's probably something we could leave as is, but I'd honestly give it a different name firsthand, and then it'd probably be all set. Of course, this knockout, it won't really come out for a little while longer, but when we do expect to see it in stores, of course I will probably buy one and give a little overview on it, but probably not at the moment. I'm probably not going to be in the mood to well go and overview every single one of my blasters in my current collection, but it will still be a pretty fun time nonetheless. The fact that my collection still continues to grow and the like, and the fact that I've even rearranged my well, collection on my wall a bit. The fact that, well, I uploaded a picture to my Instagram recently on that subject, it was still a pretty fun, you know, project for me to take over. I was able to remove half of the wall segments of mine that I own and rearrange the blasters in different ways to, well, I can have a lot of extra space. So this way there will be several other different blasters that I'll buy later on within the next 10 months or so, but all in all, it's still going to be quite a road for me to travel down on before I can consider myself a complete 
collector for Nerf Blasters, in a way. In today's time, that is. So I suppose that other subjects of mine, topics of mine that I'll cover later on, they might all become very good around here, but I suppose that eventually we might have some others out there that we're going to have to, well, look over at some point. But other than that, I feel like it's all good to go. And if you want to see more, go down to my channel. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.